The following data were taken from the records of Stellar Manufacturing Company for the fiscal year ended June 30, 2008. And on the slide, you see there's information about beginning and ending raw materials, beginning and ending finished goods, and work in process. There's also information about direct labor, indirect labor, accounts receivable, and other manufacturing overhead accounts as well. And on this problem, we're to complete three separate tasks. First, we'll prepare a cost of goods manufactured schedule. Then we'll prepare an income statement through gross profit. And finally, we'll prepare a current asset section of the balance sheet at June 30th, 2008. On the left side of this slide, you see much of the information that was provided on the previous slide. And this information was given in the problem. Now you see on the right side how we would produce the cost of good manufactured schedule using the information that was provided. So we start off with work in process. And then we need to determine what direct materials were used. We do that by taking the beginning inventory then adding in the purchases to come up with total raw materials available then we subtract out the ending inventory next we add in direct labor and manufacturing overhead to come up with total manufacturing costs when we have total manufacturing costs plus the beginning work in process totaled that gives us total costs of work in process next we subtract out the ending work in process and as a result we're able to compute the cost of goods manufactured. Now I'll show some lines that identify what key pieces of information came from the data and where it showed up on the cost of goods manufactured schedule. Next we take a look at producing a partial income statement and again we start off with the same information that was provided in the problem and you see that on the left part of this slide. Now you can see how we would produce a partial income statement and here you see we drop in sales and sales discounts from the information that was provided to compute net sales. Net sales is sales less sales discounts. Then we need to determine cost of goods sold with cost of goods sold we start off with the beginning inventory then we add in cost of good manufactured and that's what we just calculated on the last slide and that gives us cost of goods available for sale and we subtract out finished goods inventory to compute cost of goods sold if we subtract cost of goods sold from net sales we derive cost profit I said that incorrectly we derive gross profit and from there we can compute the rest of the income statement. Now I'll show you some lines to indicate where key information from the data appears on the partial income statement. And finally we take a look at producing a partial balance sheet. And again we start with the information that was provided in the problem which you see on the left part of this slide. And now you see what the partial balance sheet looks like. So if we're just concerned with current assets we drop in cash then accounts receivable and inventory and you can see we're using the ending inventory amounts that were given in the problem again I'll drop in some lines to show you where the information came from